Hello there and welcome to my very first vlog for a long time. And if you are wondering what the hell happened to the live stream or something like that, I'm going to it in the, a few moments, okay? But first of all, I have unfortunately some very sad news for you guys. And that is going to be that I will not participate in the launch date of the Xbox One due to the fact that the launch date in the country where I am living right now are delayed beyond belief. While the UK, US uh, and other parts of Europe are gaining the console within... Uh, well, basically they're gaining the console on the 24th of November uh, 2013. I have to wait for the first quarter of 2014 before I going to get my console. Maybe before, but that is just a wish. That is basically meaning that I will be delayed as living fuck on the channel of updating uh, Battlefield 4 gameplays, Call of Duty Ghost gameplays. Um, if you're wondering, yes, I'm going to play those games, I'm going to record gameplays, so don't worry about it. But those will be heavenly delayed. And, uh, of course, I'm going to occupy my time by playing GTA 5. But for fuck's sake, I had almost up to my neck about this from Microsoft. This is bullcrap from their side. Basically, what I'm saying right now is this. Don't feed me this bullcrap. I am already in a very, very heavy doubt about buying Xbox One. I don't need this crap to encourage me to change over to PS4, okay? For some of you guys, maybe the PS4 is better, maybe not, I don't know. I have played uh, Xbox 360, I played Xbox games since I was very young. I was kind of getting interested in games from the Xbox. Bef uh, well, before I played it, I played Nintendo 64 as well. But basically, the Xbox just made some sort of a leap board into the game community. I was interested in the game that came out, I played the most games that I could get my hands on. And uh, basically, it was there it started. And uh, on the Xbox 360, my kind of live account went live. And basically, it is quite sad that I'm going to shut down a five year old account of a game, well, basically, a game manufacturer that. I have kind of been interested in, and of course, are really interested to play the games. But how should you say it? Now, I don't know what the name of the myth was. It is going to the Greek mythology, but basically, it was about uh, a guy who was punished, and uh, the punishment for his uh, crimes, I think, was basically being under uh, our head or either at a sword, hanging by a thin hair thread. That is basically all what the remains from Xbox Live to fuck it up. It is nearly so thin as a hair. And basically one more bad news behind changing console. And that's for good. I'm not going to look back. And it's going to be really sad due, due to the fact that I'm really fond of the controllers of the 360. I've always been fond of controllers of uh, uh, Microsoft. And of course this is going to be rather sad for me due to the fact that that means that uh, basically I had to shut down a uh, very long and uh, very long <laughs> basically enjoyment time of my well, gaming community. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, uh, and uh, this is unscripted, so my deepest apology, but basically I'm pissed off, I'm annoyed, and I'm not alone. Basically, over all the comments field I read about the Norwegians who have been uh, on Forbes raging, they're basically saying it. We're going to change console. Microsoft is going to lose the console battle in the north. And uh, that is du mainly due to the fact that they're delaying the console. They already have brought up many bad news in the start, causing a really bad first impression. And then they are turned around, which pleases us somewhat. And then they just basically smack us in the face with a baseball, baseball bat with this bad news. This is just fucking embarrassing. This is just fucking embarrassing. And due to the fact that I'm also thinking about changing console, 
due to the fact that I already started it when uh, they first announced the DRRs, the DRMs, and etc. on uh, the Xbox One in the beginning. That is not a good sign. And basically, I'm quite a patient guy. Okay? I am. But this is tearing my patient down. Basically, as I didn't mention before, the chance of me buying an Xbox One is hanging by a thin, thin thread. And one bad more one more bad news and a thin thread is going to snap. So there you go, that's my was my little rant and of course um, yeah, that's a little bit of explanation about it. Um, so, back to the part where I mentioned that uh, I will also talk about what happened during the 100 subscription and basically, to be honest, uh, what the hell happened there was basically a huge catastrophe on my side and of course the software side. So, uh, here I begin. When I was supposed to start uh, the live stream, I um, was uh, rather nervous. I uh, put up everything, I set it up, I was thought I was ready to go. But not everything went my way. So uh, basically I was trying to do the broadcast on uh, YouTube at first and uh, on YouTube I got the message that I need to download a software called Wirecast. With Wirecast, apparently it showed that I could connect to XSplit Broadcaster, which is a quite a good um, broadcasting uh, or live stream um, application on your computer or program or software, whatever you want to call it. And I tried to get it to communicate with Wirecast. Every damn opportunity failed. It refused to communicate with it, even though I restarted the program, I restarted both programs, and they still refused to communicate, for some odd reason, and I was annoyed about it. Then I thought to myself, okay, maybe I should move on to Elgator. In the latest, in the latest patch that Elgator gave out, they basically promised that you can do a live stream from Elgator over to YouTube. And I thought, yes, this is it, I can finally do a live cast on my Elgator directly instead of going into a secondary um, software. But the game or the software was playing dirty with me and every time I tried to connect it in uh, to uh, YouTube apparently I just got um, some sort of warning from uh, the, my uh, uh, basically my uh, YouTube saying that 4 or 3 con content forbidden. Basically, it refused to do a live stream from it, and I was rather annoyed, you can imagine, and stressed. So, I just made a hurry change to one of my videos saying, Okay, I'm going to do my live cast uh, or live stream on uh, Twitch instead. So, I went to Twitch, I rigged it up, and I tried to test it out with the uh, expert broadcaster again. So, after I successfully started a live stream, I was a little bit curious how it did sound, so I turned up the mu well turn up turn up the volume on my PC, and God heaven forbidden, it was basically Satan speaking out of my speakers, and the reason for it, I discovered that while I was talking in the Xplay broadcast, my audio repeated every five seconds and overlapped each other, causing in causing it to be some sort of a messy audio glitch. And it was horrible to listen to. Basically, it sounded like it, it, Satan's firstborn was born on the fucking channel, and I was rather annoyed about it. And uh, I had no idea how to fix it. I went to Xplit Broadcast's uh, homepage or forums, searched for the topic, searched for help, and apparently, I'm not the only one that struggled with it. Um, for some reason, they are having this issue with it. So the audio will repeat itself, whatever you are, either just listening to yourself or seeing yourself broadcasting it on Twitch, 
or doing something else. It would just repeat itself. Um, that was quite unfortunate due to the fact that I like X-Play broadcast, due to the fact that I can have a face cam, which I couldn't at the time due to the fact that my voice sounded like the demonic firstborn demon. So I went over to Alligator again and did a live stream from there. And around the 2 a.m. GMT, I discovered something that was rather unfortunately and was me to blame on. And that was I only had three viewers at max. Yeah, three viewers, that's it. And I went back on YouTube and I basically saw a huge rookie mistake. And mind you, that was my very first live stream I ever done. So this was basically something I had to just write down as experience and of course um, basically learn from it. And that was I only gave around I think it was nearly 12 hour or something like that uh, warning before I kind of went to live stream. Which was quite embarrassing. So that was quite embarrassment uh, for uh, on my behalf and I'm really sorry about it if you was really looking forward to it. I'm really sorry, but uh, I will try to make it good again by doing another live stream, like uh, some sort of a part two or something of the live stream, and I will try again. So maybe next week or the week after this video will be released, I will do a live stream in the weekends. Okay, so you can look forward to that one. And of course I will give you a heads up before I do a live stream, maybe a week before, so you guys can prep yourself, okay? But that was not actually the end of the story, I really wish it was, but apparently it wasn't. And uh, when I went back to Elgato and was wondering what the hell happened, why on earth did I get the 4 or 3 forbidden content message? I was very confused and I went uh, to uh, their YouTube page, I looked in the videos and I thought, um, okay, what, what I done wrong? And basically he just showed that he clicked on uh, the um, uh, live stream button on uh, the alligator recording and it went uh, directly to YouTube. And before that I tried to set up a live stream event and when I tried to exit it through uh, alligator it just said 4 or 3 content forbidden. So I went back with that fresh amount and I said to myself, that can't be that easy. I pushed the mouse button on the uh, live stream button, I clicked it and I was live on my YouTube channel. Yay! So basically I was rather frustrated and of course after testing it out for like one or two hours I finally found out that I could do a live stream on YouTube after all. So uh, yeah, the live stream is going to happen on YouTube on my channel so you can look forward to that one and I'm really really sorry for it, okay? So basically this has been a vlog from my side, I hope you enjoyed the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 uh, uh, gameplays I put in the background, I will of course release the non-commentary edition of it since I know that uh, somebody doesn't want to hear to my voice, but this has been a vlog from uh, John and Anim and I hope you enjoyed the rest of this movie. So um, become a subscriber to see more Battlefield 3, Metro Last Light and of course Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplays on my channels and have a nice day.